So let's have a look at the new runtime graphics in CNC12 version 5.40. This is a beta version, it's not public at the moment. So it's with a new runtime graphics displaying four axes. Let's see how it, this is working. I've already loaded the job and we will start it now. You can move it around, turn it, and zoom while the machine is running. This is quite nice, I think. You also have the option to change tool shapes from flat end, more nose, and the cone. So decide not to see the rapid moves or the origin. So now we will stop it. And the next cool thing is If you decide to start the program uh, only for a special section of the toolpath, which will not be machined because of the selection will have another color so now it's starting only with engraving the numbers on, of the scale ring
also the new graph function in Centroid CNC 12 5.4. We have a full rotary axis display. And you have different options. This is to make the tool diameter the same as in the tool library on the display. And you can zoom and move around. the mouse. The next cool thing is that you can now define material size or stock material size and view it in the graph and in the runtime graphics. This is a uh, small intercon program to face off a part. Material, material size is uh, set up here but you can only have rectangular blocks and the uh, purple box is the uh, travel limit of the machine and you can see here how the part is placed in the work envelope you so you can see if it will fit in or not Here also you have the options to uh, set the opacity of the box. If it's set to zero, it will only be a dotted line. And what is also cool, if you have um, okay, Pro is not detected because it's not uh, plugged in the machine. <coughs> Here you can uh, touch one side of the part and to automatically set up the coordinate system rotation if it's not fitted uh, aligned very well to the machine and then the degrees here of measure will automatically appear here but we can now type in 3 degrees minus 3 degrees by hand So now you can see in the graph that the coordinate system is rotated at 3 degrees, but the material box will not rotate. It's quite nice, I think.
So now what you do with the material box and the new runtime graphics from Centroid if you are generating your G-code with Fusion. That is also no problem because I've modified a post-processor you can download in a Centroid form. This is Centroid mill with uh, simulation version 3. And here you have the option to check the post material size box. And this will post the dimension of the stock material you have defined in Fusion automatically so it can be displayed in the central CNC. So now let's post this. Here you can see this here is a material definition so that it can be showed like in Fusion and uh, CNC12 also. So now back on the CNC again. Let's load the uh, G-code we have generated with Fusion. It's automatically posted in the and C files directory of CNC12. Left job. And here you can see toolpath and material box is displayed.